Yo, hello, it's Povika Sanna Revy here, and today I will show you how to make the one frame glitch effect. If you guys want to support Revy, he has a website with editing packs, and the link is in the description. Also, if anyone wants to support me as well, my channel will be linked in the description. Now, let's start with the tutorial. So, at first you have to know that if you just add an adjustment layer over your video and cut it to one frame, you can add any effect out of these suggested ones and it will already look pretty good. But I think the key is to add one frame glitches on beats or transitions. I will show you some one frame glitch examples now. If you want the one frame glitches to have a bigger effect, make your edit in lower frame rate. So for example, do not uh, make one frame glitch effects on 60 frame edits or sometimes even on 30 frame edits. Try to go for 24 frames, which I usually do, or even 21. So yeah, let's go. If you guys want the effect to be very visible, you can add a lot of one frames and uh, mash them together. But I think that only works for transitions or really, really hard beats. So for example, we have a transition here, so we can add a couple of one frames, around three. Do not over add one frame glitches, because that will just look bad. And we can add, for example, invert. You can add S invert or just invert, uh, whichever you have. And you can change the settings if you want. It's all up to your imagination. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Now we can add uh, an effect, for example, colorama. And here, I, I usually like to go here and change the red one and make it around this color. On the last one, we can add BTC Damage TV. I kind of like this effect. Uh, you can mess around with the settings, but I usually just keep it simple and just don't change anything. And this is how it will look like this. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, but we can adjust more. What I like to do is sometimes I like to zoom in. So I have S4 transform. You might not have sapphire, so we can transform in other ways. And I like to pick some random settings here, like zoom in on their faces or something. I don't know, on like a well visible part. And let's see how that will change it up. Now, as you can see, it already did a little bit of a difference. And I think that's pretty good. Second, add one frames anywhere, but make it fit. Find a random place. Then I like to add CC block load. Uh, I changed the setting to around 6 and this to 16. And uh, let's see how this looks. You can see this part doesn't really feel good to be here, so we'll find another place. Okay, maybe here it will work. Let's try here. As you can see, it kind of works there. You can add random one frames wherever you want, but make it fit. Now we can add more one frames. Transitions are the best places to add one frames. And we can add stretch frame edges, which is one of my favorite effects for one frames. Uh, I usually make this around like really big. I sometimes do a shift. And then I add S warp transform. Again, you can zoom in in other ways, but this is how I zoom in. And then I go like right here. Then I like to add scan lines as well, which is another great effect. You can just add a lot of one frames on another and just test out. There is no rule to this. It's just experimenting. Okay, so mm, I don't know how this looks, but as well, just remember, just experiment. So another thing I really like to do, I don't know if this is like a one frame or, or not. I don't know how you would say it, but I usually like to add white frame. I don't know how to call it. And I just cut it to one frame. After that, we can add S edge detect. And you can change up the settings how much you want. For example, you can make this to mono edges. You can make it to chroma edges. Although I do not suggest chroma edges because for some reason they look weird a lot. I usually do not uh, like the green too much. So I keep it down a bit. And then I add deep glow, I lower it to around here, and look, that looks great. Okay, so it doesn't work in this place, as we can see. And that is very important, you need to find a place where it works. So we can maybe put it like here. Okay, I will show you now a, a different but a steezy way of making one frame glitches that not many people do, but with some work you can make it work. I like to mask an adjustment layer, copy and paste any adjustment layer, one frame. Uh, I found a transition here by the way, so I'm gonna be doing it on a transition, but it works on beats and stuff, just as fine. And now grab the pen tool and mask here, or you can mask it a similar way, like this, or you can mask it like this. It's up to you, and it's up to how the video looks like. So for this, I think I'm going to be doing from up to down. So I'll mask here. Okay, now that we have the mask, let's add effects. I think I'm going to add as edge detect here. Okay, we can adjust it a little bit. Suggest it so it has less green. But you can creep green if you want. It's all different. And we can add deep glow. 
Uh, let's lower it a little bit. We can also add wave warp. For wave warp to work, you actually have to put it up, up on top of all of them. Change the angle to zero. I usually like to have a bigger wave height, a lesser wave width. I usually change it to smooth noise. Now, the last part is to add S warp transform. Or you can just transform it in any other way. But I usually like to do it like this. And I like to put it to a side. Now, in the middle of this, because this will be three frame, one frames, I usually put this white layer. Okay, let's copy and paste it here. And then you want to copy and paste this. Put it on the last frame there. Press M. And then press on inverted. If it doesn't look good here, you can go to S warp transform. And now just start shifting. You can zoom out a little bit. Now, I think this will work just fine. And now, let's see how, how it looks like. Again, this is not perfect, but you get the idea. To summarize, you should use one frame glitches on beats or transitions, but they still work on random parts of the video sometimes. If you want the glitches to have a bigger effect, then add more layers and drop the frame rate of your video. I suggest adding one frame glitches when you are editing in 24 frames per second or lower, but 30 frames per second also works a little bit. Alright, I hope you have learned something and have a productive day. See ya!